Hey guys, welcome to new video. Free Nine Dushan here. In today video, we got some uh, special test video for you. So uh, remember this. This is the material which is left from my uh, last video when I recover one of last video when I recover uh, from one kilogram of uh, mixed ICs, lead diodes, and uh, RAM ICs, uh, free leg uh, transistors, I uh, recover that 0.4 gold and this is the material which, uh, which left after, after burning and grinding chips and removing uh, the ash from the, this metallic part. So uh, a lot of time when we process IC chip, always I wonder uh, how much gold actually left uh, on this stuff, on these legs, on this uh, inside bodies. So uh, definitely we know that some gold is inside, like on the middle of this part, you see. It's a little rusty because uh, I left that in water for a couple of days and it started to rust, but never mind. So if you see in the middle of this, of this heat sink, we got some gold inside and uh, a lot of other parts contain a gold especially from the chips but uh, you cannot see all the time never mind okay and today I'm gonna make uh, a test video so I'm gonna process these for gold uh, this will not probably be a profitable video, just I want to know how much gold left on the metal, metal part. So uh, here still I have some small particles of the, of the plastic, but not too much. Mostly 95% is, uh, is metallic parts. And uh, to use normal process, uh, to dissolve this in the nitric acid will eat enormous amount of nitric acid. Uh, uh, reverse electroplating, no, definitely, because I got here a lot of uh, small, small par particles, so I cannot uh, do that in the right way. Uh, probably will uh, lose the contact. So, uh, the process which I use, I will use my uh, acid mix my uh, gold stripping solution with the uh, sulfuric acid and uh, sodium nitrate so i think that this stuff will definitely remove all the gold but left anything else so okay uh, we not talk too much i will put that in the one big jar solution it should uh, dissolve all the gold some small amount of base metal but all the base metal it should be untouched, okay? So after that, we will decan that through the mesh and uh, we will drop some gold to see if this stuff worth for a process or just throw that in the pile with the scrap metal, okay? So let's go!
Okay guys, so I finish everything and uh, in this jar number one uh, is a solution, stripping, gold stripping solution. So uh, I got already some uh, slug on the bottom, some drop. I'll leave that to settle down. After that I'm gonna decan solution and uh, put that in a beaker for uh, refining. And in this jar is uh, water from uh, washing all that material. So always you need to wash a couple of times with a brush and uh, water. Just mix that until you get only a clean water. So because some of gold will probably cement back uh, on this items, metal item, and uh, you need to remove that with the water and the brush. You see, I have clean water now and all the dirty water is here. So now I wait even this to settle down and I will decant that solution too, that water too and I put that slug together with this for a final refining step. Okay, like I said, all this slug from all that jar go in the same beaker for, for a final refining step to get our clear gold and see how much gold we had from this uh, left metal from one kilogram uh, different different uh, ITs and uh, the other ITs and uh, transistors okay so this is only a metal now and what I'm gonna do next is I just with a magnet I will try to separate only magnetic part so magnetic part go in the waste steel bucket and the copper part go in the waste copper so uh, nothing you nothing throw away but here you got a lot lot of magnetic part okay okay I will back to you when I get all that slug in the same beaker okay okay so right now in this beaker I have all the slug from that uh, metal from that drop and from that water from the cleaning that metal this go to waste bucket and uh, right now I will refine that with the hydrochloric acid sodium nitrate to make pores man aquavigia okay Okay, so after one night we got our small sediment of gold, solid purity, but not too much. Uh, I don't expect I don't 
expect too much because uh, this is uh, just low grade material but this is experiment how much we got gold from that uh, residue from uh, ITs from one kilogram ITs transistor LED diode so right now I'm gonna decan that dry that and put on the scale okay okay guys so finally we are finished our process and in this little beaker I dry all the powder which I harvest it's not too much but this is just a low gray material so uh, this is the gold from the metal from which is left from uh, IC chip gold recovery and the moment of truth is uh, I need to push my scale always. I really need to buy a new scale. Yeah. Okay. So you see 0 0.2 gram. It's not bad. This is little bonus. But is that worth? It? Well, depends on the process. I think with the my mix of acid it's actually worth a worth uh, trouble because you are use just a small amount of uh, sodium nitrate and sulfuric acid which is cheap you can use a uh, battery acid uh, you don't need to use a uh, pure sulfuric acid so definitely I think it's worth so uh, from one kilogram left material from my uh, IT mix uh, lead diode and the transistor gold recovery from the metal I harvest this 0 0.2 gram of gold okay okay guys so I hope you love this little experiment I always wonder how much gold we left on that metal and depends uh, from the chip from a year from a, from a manufacturing never will be the same but some gold definitely left on the chip uh, I think that this my way is uh, very good because uh, it's not easy to work definitely but it's very good because uh, your metal is a uh, stay and uh, you have your copper you have your uh, metal on the side but you have in the solution only a gold some small amount of metal of course okay tell me in the comments what you think and uh, I will see you soon in the next video for Revolution out cheers